Yo, what is up my people? As you can tell by the title of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to color your spokes with no paint. That's right, no paint. All right, so you wanna see how to do that? Change the color of your spokes with no paint, with no paint and no hardly any effort at all? Stay tuned and I'll show you guys how. I'll see you guys after the intro. Living on borrowed time, so I gotta keep it moving. If it don't make sense, then I gotta keep it moving. She ain't helping me build, then I gotta keep it moving. Miss me with the excuses, so I gotta keep it moving. Currency is the motive, so I gotta keep it moving. You don't work it down need, so I gotta keep it moving. Goals to achieve, so I gotta keep it moving. There's them and then there's me, so I gotta keep it moving. Born broke, so the mentality's always been there. Different bloodlines, so you know what's never been fair. Welcome back. As you can see, I've already taken off the rims, the hunter spokes. You know what I'm saying? I already took them off, and I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to go from chrome to any color your car is. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people that want to change the color of their spokes, they usually paint them, okay? For one of two reasons, either they're bored of the color or uh, the spokes have damage on them. They just want to paint them a different color so they don't have to deal with, uh, you know, the scraping of the chrome or the fading of the chrome or the rust that may or may not be on the spokes. So those are two reasons, okay? There's many ways to change the color of your spokes. The most common way is, well, there's two common ways, okay? You can either order them already done like that. You can have somebody powder coat them. Or you could paint them yourself okay these are options that you have now back in the day you didn't really have that option uh for the true ogs that uh have been around for a while now i'm not that old but i have been around it my whole life i keep saying it i've been around it my whole life but anyways back in the day if you wanted to color paint change the color of your spokes and back then they didn't paint them uh the way they used to do it is let me show you used to be that they used to sell a hard plastic tube that would go over the spoke a hard hard plastic tube okay a hard plastic tube would go over this the only issue with that is the spoke was I, I would even say it was a close close to it was it was probably metal I don't even think it was hard plastic the only problem with this is once you get them on it's very very difficult to get them off okay the OG way they, they used to do with those those metal tubes is whatever colored spoke you wanted, they would sell them at the lowrider shows for the most part. That's why I see them. And on videos, I would see them. You could order them through magazines, whatever. But you would get that metal spoke that was already painted or whatever color the spoke is, and it had a slit right down the middle. And that, you'd put it over the spoke, and then you would hit it with a little hammer. That's how you would get it on the spoke. So you'd hit it with a little hammer, and that's how it would stay on there. I don't even think there's a way to get them off. There might have been. I've never really seen it done in person. I've just seen videos of it and I would see them at car shows, but they would put a metal tube, paint it already, hit it with a hammer. That's how it would stay on the spoke. Okay, so that's the OG way of doing it. If I can find a video on it, I'm gonna try because I know I've seen it. If I can find it, I'll insert it right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it with no paint, hardly any effort at all. And very cost cost effective, okay? Real cheap to do. It's not it's not hard to do, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys how. And it is so simple to do. You're gonna really you're gonna laugh when whenever you, whenever I show you, okay? But you're gonna. It really depends on the the color of your car. As you can see, as you can see, this one has different shades of blue, silver, and we may have a little bit of white in there. But it's very different. A lot of different shades of blue on here. Okay, so you can go with whichever one matches your car the most or whichever color you want to go with. Now, how do I know how to do this? Well, as a kid, I used to have lowrider bikes, okay? And this was something that was taught to me by my pops. My pops taught me how to do this with my bikes, okay? He, I don't know, I don't think he's ever done it with his cars, not that I'm aware of, but I know he showed me how to do it with my bikes because my dad is a real customizing guy. He really likes to customize all his vehicles and the ways that he wants and he's done that my whole life so if you if you know him you know him you know you you would understand so he was showing me a lot of things growing up from my bikes you know he would buy me these little plastic uh pieces that would go on a spoke that would be like ninja turtles and stuff like that but this was something cool and i like i, I never thought about it 
it wasn't until he brought it back up to me, um, you know, recently, some months back. And I was like, you know what? That'd be a good idea. We could try it. And I'm pretty sure it works because it worked on bikes. But I'm going to show you guys what it is. Now, what are we going to use? We are going to use straws. Yes. Laugh now. Tell me in the comments, but we're going to use straws. Okay. I got these on Amazon. You can get straws wherever you're going to go, wherever you want. As you can see, I got different variations of blue right here, different varieties of blue. And we're going to use each and every single one. Okay. This is a... A 300 count okay we got 100 spokes per rim we, i have two packs of these we're gonna have leftovers which is always a good thing now like i said i've tried these on bikes i've gone fast on bikes never tried them on a car but we're gonna try them out today and we're gonna test it out and see how it rocks so stick with me i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it step by step we're gonna paint we're gonna change the color of your spokes without no paint okay so let me show you how it's done so first things first, you want to get your, your, your rims clean, okay, your spokes, you want to get them clean as, pos as clean as possible. If you want to see a video on that, I'll leave it linked down below and I'll leave it right here, okay. So make sure your rims are clean. You could do your white wall too. I have a video on that as well. You can check that out, but we're focusing on the spokes today. So let's go ahead and get it going. Like I said, get your straws from wherever you want. I got them from Amazon. Like I said, many different color blues we got going on here. Let's go ahead and bust it open. Oh, this has a resealable one. Hell yeah, I did not know that. Okay. So as you can see, we got these going on. We got a little bendy, but we don't need, we don't have to worry about that because these folks ain't that big. So we're going to use this one as our practice one. Okay. Find the longest spoke you got. Okay. And then mark it. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut it. And let's see if it fits. Once we cut it, okay, you're gonna cut it right down the middle, okay? Cut it as straight as you can, because we don't want the line going everywhere. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put it over the spoke. Now this one's a little too long, so we're gonna have to trim it just a little bit. So just, okay. And we've got gold, okay? We got one, we're gonna use that to measure all the rest. Okay, now with one straw, we were able to do two of these. Okay, so that's a good thing. Now, when it comes to over here, you're gonna have to cut it at a little bit of an angle if you want, because it's gonna show a little bit of chrome, because remember, these are going at an angle. So, if you want it to be perfect, trim them to your liking, okay? But now it's time to cut the rest. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so I already went and cut my pieces. Let's go ahead and put them in. As you can see, I cut them a little bit at an angle. So, let's see how it works. There is, they do make uh, some plastic ones that go over spokes, but they're from motocross bikes. They're not necessarily for vehicles with the spokes is big, okay? So if you want to get it done, like I said, try it my way. Let me know if you guys try it that way. Leave me down in the comments below and leave me y'all's feedback. And uh, hey, let's continue with the rest of the video. And here is the finished product, okay? Now. When you do your measurements, use the longest one first because the one right next to it is a little bit shorter, not too much, okay? Now, you don't have to go this right. You can do one solid color if you want. I just wanted to because, like I said, I have many different colors of blue on this Cadillac. So, I was like, why not? Let's do this. Let's try and see how it looks. But you can do whichever, whatever way you want, one solid color or whatever. Now... The question we also got here is we got the spokes in the back. Now, I'll get to those in a minute, okay? But another good thing, another cool thing you could do with multiple different colors, or not even multiple different colors, you don't have to do the whole rim. You could do pieces, do different designs. It could look like blades after you get done. Or you could do multiple colors and do, you know, different sections and all that. There's many, many possibilities that can go doing this system right here. 
Okay. Me personally, I am not going to do the back spokes because when I roll to shows, we want a little bit of the chrome to show on the back. Okay. Plus, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. Plus, it's uh, like I said, it's not going to show too much. The spokes are like a little, little bit more than half the size, a little bit less than half the size of these. So there's really no point in doing them for me. If you want to do them, by all means, go ahead and do it. I'm going to leave them like this. Make sure y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think of this. Let's mount these and see how they look on the Cadillac. All right, now I'm gonna show y'all what they look like on, mounted on. Oh my God, to me that looks dope. And I don't know if you guys can see the reflection in the, in the chrome, the spokes. Oh my God. But of course we gotta do a test. So let's take it around the block a few times, see if any of them fall off with the motion of the wind or the, you know, anything like that. And we're gonna hit some switches too, so let's give it a try. So we took it around the blocks a few times. Took it around the block a few times and nothing came off. So the only test we got left is a highway. But I will not be doing that in this vlog. I will be doing it in a different vlog, okay? Now I am gonna do the rest of the rims that way because I love the way it came out, okay? Because I've done it on bikes before. I've never done it on cars. Now I know it works. I'm gonna do it on all four. But if you guys wanna see that, y'all gotta stay tuned to my social medias, man. Y'all gotta be, follow me on Instagram right there, where I am most active. You can also follow me on Facebook, right there. And you want some other content that you can't see here, follow me here. Y'all already know, and all the links will be down in the description below. Okay, but that was it. That's how you, that's how you change the color of your spokes without paint, paintless, paintless, colored spokes okay so if y'all found this video informative let me know what y'all think and as always don't forget as always i appreciate y'all watching man this has been cadillac chronicles i am the one man click man i will see y'all later